Hi, and welcome to Beetle Dave's Beatles channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing the George Harrison Dark Horse Years CD box set. So please, come and join me. So hello again and a wonderfully warm welcome to Beetle Days Beatles channel. I hope I find that you're all very well out there and thank you so much for joining me again today on the channel. So today's video then, I'm going to be showing the fabulously made CD box set The Dark Horse Years by George Harrison and it's obviously the companion box set to The Apple Years which was released after. And I'm quite surprised actually though that a few tracks actually seem to slip the net in this set with about six missing tracks in all, including Leahy's Head, Cockamamie Business, Poor Little Girl and Cheer Down. But that aside though, it's a definite must have box set if you're a really big George Harrison fan like me. So that's gonna be coming up very, very soon. But before then, it's time for something completely different. It's... As we live, yeah. So yes, welcome to Ask Beetle Dave, where I'll be answering your questions that you have about anything Beatles related, maybe about anything to do with the guy's solo careers, or films, or promo films, just about anything you can think of, and I'll endeavour to answer it right here. So today's question then is from Brandon Random. Hiya Brandon, hope you're well my friend. And he asks, Beetle Dave, can you pinpoint one thing that you feel is the most important reason why you like the Beatles? So yes, I think I can. And pure and simply, it has to be the music more than any other aspect. I mean, they are the one band that has clearly been the biggest influence in popular music in the last 60 plus years. I mean, they've written a massive body of work, which is without question, the most important and imitative throughout the whole world. I mean, there is actually just no one which I feel has come close to the Beatles and their magnitude. So without doubt, the music is the most important reason why I love the Beatles. So Brandon, my friend, I really hope that answers your question for you. And guys, if you want to contribute to Ask Beetle Dave, why not send me a question in the comments and I'll include it in a future episode. It's that simple. So come on guys, please please me by getting involved and ask me some super questions. Okay then, now we're going to be moving on and of course it's time for... So yes, of course, we're on to them old shout outs. And it's a great big Beetle Dave hello to Matthew Buzzle. How you doing, Matthew? Matthew Shelbourne, Michael McClelland, Joan Olivella, Zach Stargaze. How you doing, Zach? Stephen A, Martin Robinson. How you, Martin? And Craig Phillips. So that's a massive hi to all of you Beetle people from yours truly, Beetle Dave. So on to the main event then today, and it's the George Harrison CD box set the Dark Horse Years. So please, come and join me. The Dark Horse Years CD box set by George Harrison was released on the 23rd of February 2004, two days before what would have been George's 61st birthday. George's Dark Horse albums had originally been available on CD in the early 1990s, but had gradually gone out of print, making second-hand prices rise considerably. In 2000, George was keen to reissue his entire catalogue, but only managed to oversee a 30th anniversary release of his All Things Must Pass album before his death in November 2001. After a posthumous release of the album Brainwashed and also the tribute concert for George which was also issued, George's widow Olivia and son Danny started to compile the Dark Horse box set for release. Included in the 8 disc box set is a 36 page booklet containing rare photos by Terry O'Neill and also a bonus DVD featuring some of George's promos which sadly excluded Blow Away, True Love and All Those Years Ago. The original unused artwork for the album Somewhere in England was reinstated for this box set as well as the lettering font type on the album George Harrison which was also modified from the original 1979 issue. 
Despite the title of the set, not every track from Harrison's Dark Horse Years appears, but there is at least one bonus track per studio CD, with the digital download versions having a few extra bonus tracks. Released by EMI as opposed to Warner, the release was met with many favourable and positive comments, with much recognition of George's solo achievements. So let's take a look. So here it is then, George Harrison, The Dark Horse Years, 1976-1992, to released on the 23rd of February 2004, catalogue number GH Box 1. So starting with the box, of course, there, you've got the main flap at the front there with George Harrison, The Dark Horse Years, 1976-1992, to but we'll come back to that in a moment. Of course, we've got the Dark Horse logo there on that side. And then we've got, of course, George Harrison there, Dark Horse Years on that side. And then we've got some details about the actual set and what you've got on the inside of the box. Once more, you've got another George Harrison, Dark Horse Years on that side. And then, of course, on the back there, you've got all the albums listed, what's inside the box, as well as the DVD. So the main side then, where all the CDs sit and the DVD and the booklet, is this little flap here, and of course, just like the Apple box set, got a hype sticker there as well, of course. Just like the Apple box set, then of course it slides down inside the box itself. Fantastic stuff. And of course, you've got all the compartments as to where they all sit inside there. Fantastic stuff. So onto the booklet itself then. Really nice looking booklet there. You've got the Dark Horse emblem there. And top right, you've got George Harrison, and the Dark Horse years, and 1976 to 1992. Then on the back, we've got a list of contents for the DVD. And you've got some great promos from George here. You've got this song, Crackerbox Palace, Faster, Got My Mind Set On You. There's two versions of that. And then you've got When We Were Fab, This Is Love. And you've got some live versions of tracks like Taxman from Japan. Of course, these are Cloud Nine. And then you've got Devil's Radio and Cheer Down. And you've got some Shanghai surprise bits as well on there. Some really great stuff. So we're just going to have a little flick through the booklet. It's a really nice little booklet. Some great photos. So just take a little flick through. History of Dark Horse. Some great photos of George, of course. And then we've got kind of a, like a transparency logo of Dark Horse there. Another great photo of George. And all some great information here. Some really great information. Birth announcement, about obviously about the label of Dark Horse. Some great photos of George at Friar Park there. And then the Dark Horse logo and how that come to, to be. I suppose early drafts of the logo, I guess. George again in Friar Park. Once more those transparencies. And George Harrison, Dark Horse. And I guess when he actually signed to A&M Records, all these little bits and pieces there. Of course, Ringo and George there on the set of When We Was Fab. Another one of those transparencies there. More great photos of George and Jeff Lynne. Billboard there. That's really colourful, that looks superb, that. And George there, around about the time of Cloud Nine. And of course then all the information on all the albums included. And right at the end there of course you've got the actual DVD in the actual set inside the book there. Really superb that is. So the first CD then in the box set of course it's George Harrison 33 and a third. Which would have been George's age approximately at this time of release. And there's the spine of course there. With the reverse with all the tracks listed there. Woman Don't You Cry For Me. Dear One. Beautiful girl, this song, great song that one, like that one, See Yourself, It's What You Value, True Love, Pure Smokey, Cracker Box Palace, Learning How To Love You, and of course a bonus track there of Tears Of The World. Fabulous looking stuff. And then we're going to take a look at the disc, really great artwork on these. And of course, don't forget the booklet. There's only a few pages in these I believe, but still worth looking at. Fabulous picture of George. I'm just going to flick through the pages then, 
So you've got some liner notes there, some information. Of course, who played on the tracks, I'm guessing. And some lyrics there, of course. A great picture of George. And then what you'd have got on the gatefold sleeve. And more lyrics there. And of course, the final page with George on the right there. So onto the second Dark Horse album then from 1979, simply titled George Harrison. And you can see at the top there where they've changed the actual wording, slightly different font than what you would have got on the original album. Just George Harrison there. It looks more like a signature of George's, of course. Great artwork, though. Once again, picture of George, fantastic. Got some really great songs on this album. Of course, you've got Love Comes to Everyone. Not Guilty, from obviously originally from the White Album period. Here Comes the Moon. Soft-Hearted Hannah. And then you've got Blow Away, another great song. Faster, Dark Sweet Lady, Your Love Is Forever, Soft Touch, and If You Believe, with a bonus track of Here Comes the Moon, which is a demo version. Fabulous stuff. And let's take a look at the inside then. So we've got a green CD there, of course, with the booklet on the left, which we're going to take a look at once again. So I'm going to flick these pages in. A lot of information there about all the tracks. Great picture of George there, resting at home. Some church, or it might be Prior Park, I'm guessing. Looks uh, churchy. And then we've got George in his caves at Friar Park. And then we've got the lyrics, of course. And you've got George there on the... Uh, Racing Circuit, which was obviously the inspiration of Faster. So you've got all the tracks listed again there at the back. Fabulous stuff. Great album, this one. So on to the third disc in the box set then, which is Summer in England by George Harrison from 1981. Obviously, this is the alternate artwork with George's head superimposed into the map of England. I actually think it looks really great. And on the back, of course, once again, there you've got that map of England there. And we've got the tracks on the right hand side from this album, which are Blood from a Clone, Unconsciousness Rules, Life Itself, All Those Years Ago, Baltimore Oriole, Teardrops, That Which I Have Lost, Writings on the Wall, Hong Kong Blues, and Save the World. And then the bonus track is Save the World, which is a demo version. Fabulous stuff. So there we've got the spine of the actual CD. And then we're going to take a look on the inside. Once again, the disc, quite a dark looking disc that one, but it looks really great. And then we've got, of course, you've got that map as well, once again there, just on the left, which we'll have a look at again in a moment. And of course, the actual booklet itself. So just going to take a little flick through there. Great picture of George there. I mean, that one with all the pins in the acupuncture, it's pretty scary, that. And then we've got the lyrics to some of the songs. And there's George and Danny there at the mixing console. The more lyrics of the album there. And finally, you've got some of what would have been the original artwork there with the picture behind what George would have been standing in front of. Fabulous stuff. And there, once again, is the alternate artwork of the map of England. So on to the fourth CD then, which is Gone Troppo, which was originally released in 1982. Got some really lovely, colourful artwork there. Looks really fabulous, good stuff. And then we've got the spine of the CD, of course. And then on the reverse, once again, more colourful images and stuff there going on. And the tracks on this album, you've got some really good tracks on here. It's not everyone's cup of tea, this album. We've got Wake Up My Love, That's The Way It Goes, I Really Love You, Grease, Gone Troppo, Mystical One, Unknown Delight, Baby Don't Run Away, Dream Away, Circles, and once again, as a bonus track, we've got Mystical One, which is a demo version. Fabulous stuff. So let's take a look at the disc. And then the booklet, which is on this one slightly different because it all folds out into some sort of picture or artwork and what have you. So I'm just going to take the whole thing and just going to completely unfold it, which is probably the easiest way, then show you both sides. Of course, this is identical to what you would have got on the inner sleeve where the writing gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And then of course you've got all the lyrics to the songs there on that side. 
Then on the reverse, that's more artwork there. And of course, more lyrics to the songs. And basically, the whole image of the front and the back of the album sleeve. Fabulous stuff. So on to the next CD then, which is, of course, Cloud Nine, a fabulous album. It was kind of like George's comeback album, if you like, because he'd been away for about five years. And this was released, obviously, in 1987. But you've got a fabulous picture of George there with his duo jet, his Gretsch. Brilliant little guitar. George Harrison there, Cloud Nine. And George looking really, really smiley and happy with a cloud background. Looks really fabulous. And then on the back there, once again, you've got George looking really, really relaxed and happy there. And we've got some really fabulous tracks on this album, of course, with Cloud Nine, That's What It Takes, Fish on the Sand, Just for Today, This Is Love, When We Was Fab, Devil's Radio, Someplace Else, Wreck of the Hesperus, Breath Away From Heaven, and of course, Got My Mind Set On You. We've got some bonus tracks, which being Shanghai Surprise and Zigzag. Fabulous stuff. So we're going to take a look at the CD itself and, of course, the booklet. Great looking artwork and CD there. So let's take a look at that booklet if we can get it out. So, once again, there's the front, of course. And we're just going to flick through. Plenty of information there on all the tracks. Obviously, you had the likes of Ringo and Jeff Lynne and Eric Clapton, Elton John helping him out on this album. All his mates, of course. Ray Cooper, just an absolute brilliant album. Love this album. Another great picture of Jules there. Great stuff. And a really nice picture to finish off there. So the final CD then is Live in Japan, which is a super audio CD, and it's also two discs. Really hard artwork to see this particular one, but I'm sure you can just about make it out. So you've got George Harrison there, of course, live in Japan, in obviously Japanese. And I'm going to flip that over. Got a little caricature of George there with all the tracks listed. Just going to take a little look at the spine. And then the actual tracks on the album, you've got a lot of Beatles tracks. I want to tell you, Old Brown Shoe, Taxman, Give Me Love, Give Me Peace on Earth, If I Needed Someone, Something... What is Life, Dark Horse, Piggies, Got My Mind Set On You, and on the second disc we've got Cloud Nine, Here Comes The Sun, My Sweet Lord, All Those Years Ago, Cheer Down, Devil's Radio, Isn't It A Pity, While My Guitar Gently Weeps, and of course Roll Over Beethoven. Fantastic stuff. So, so we can open this up. So you've got one disc there, and I believe you've got the second disc, which is directly underneath the first one fabulous stuff so let's take a look at the actual booklet really difficult to get this one out let's see if we can get this out today so the booklet should just just about come out somehow there we are not easy one to get out so once again there you can see the artwork you can see George's face there looks really great that's really nice the way they've done that of course, on the reverse of that is a really fantastic picture of George. Really like that picture. It looks really happy. Happy to be performing. So let's just take a little flick through. There's Eric Clapton there, of course, with George. Some of his backing band. A real great backing band and singers. and Just great stuff. Nice photo of George there. With his guitar. We've got some more information about the tracks and I'm guessing about the actual tour. Very successful tour, really great stuff. But this set is a really nice set, you know, it's still out there and it's certainly worth seeking out because it's just got so many great tracks of George's on. There's a few tracks missing as I pointed out earlier, but it's just an absolutely brilliant set. Just so nice to have.
So a big thank you to everybody for tuning in today and I really hope you've enjoyed seeing the fabulous Dark Horse Years CD box set from my collection. And as always, I appreciate any comments or communication I get from any of you Beatles people and I'll always come back to you just as soon as I can. So the next video then, I'm going to be showing the John Tavener LP, The Whale, which features a certain Mr. Ringo Starr as well. So please make sure you're here in two weeks, same Beatles time, same Beatles channel. So anyway, as always, if you enjoy what I'm doing, why not give us a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. This is Beatle Dave signing off. Beatle Dave's Beatles channel.